all right so in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to create a horizontal scroll bar using figma so without further delays let's just get started and dive right in <music> Alright, so guys, um, let's design the horizontal scroll bar. Now, these are the cards that I've created. Um, you can pause the video and create yours so that you can design along. So these are the cards that we'll be, we'll be applying the horizontal scroll bar on. So um, from here now, if you already have your card, you can just use a bunch of rectangles that you fill with different colors just to save you time and um, just to learn this. We'll just highlight everything like so and uh, we'll put everything within a frame so right click and uh, select our frame selection all right so everything is now within a frame everything is now within a frame so um, for us to apply the scroll bar effect we'll have to draw another frame that will place that frame on so let's draw a frame like this that has to be smaller than this frame that we've created has to be shorter than it so let's bring in our own frame here like so okay so as you can see we can still make this other frame shorter so let's make it shorter like so perfect and uh short like this as well okay so let's move this up like so excellent i'm just going to create a bit of a spacing and uh, yeah this is good all right so the next thing that i'll do is to create the scroll bar so let's create the scroll bar right now um i'll just uh, bring i'll go to basic shapes and uh, select polygon and uh, i'll draw a perfect polygon i'll rotate this by 90 degrees um give it a fill color of blue perfect let's zoom in and then i'll bring it let's make it smaller just we smaller 20 is still to be let's say 18 all right so i'll put it over here put it here like this and uh, let's duplicate it and uh, bring it over here to this other side okay yeah here so I'll just flip this to 180 degrees. Okay, 270. All right, perfect. So let's shift it in a little bit, just a little bit. All right. So the next thing we'll draw the indicator, the horizontal bar indicator. So let's just draw this like so. And uh, let's give it some radius it and uh, let's fill it with blue oh no let's fill it with red instead let's fill it with red and um, let's make sure it's aligned to the center of the scroll bars and um, let's also align it to the edge okay so let's uh, I just change this to red instead of blue i think it would make more sense if it's red and uh, this one as well Let's make this one red as well, which is this color right here. Okay, so now that we have everything that we need, we will have to duplicate this. Duplicate this. So Ctrl D to duplicate. And then uh, this one, this nav indicator right here, I will shift it to the ends over here. okay perfect so that's it and uh, this one as well i'll shift this frame inside so that the last one is visible okay so this is the last one all right so now that we have these this is within the frame that's within the frame let's ensure that nothing is outside of the frame okay so now that we have this, um, we're going to prototype this, but um, yeah, let's prototype it. So we'll click on this one right here, 
let's click on the scroll bar and then we'll go to prototype and uh, click and drag it to this one and then we'll say not on click on drag navigate to from theory smart animate is out and then we'll come over here as well and then uh, click and drag this one over here and uh, not on click but on drag smart animates is out all right now you can convert this into um component sets to make it uh more smoother but let's test this out and see what it looks like so hit on flow one and uh, let's click on present okay so this is our prototype so let's test it out and see how it works you see this you see this so as i click and drag it from the first one to the next one it actually slides along so this is how you create horizontal scroll bar on figma thank you so much for watching for more tutorials like this ensure you hit the subscribe button leave a like and leave a comment thank you so much until next time see you